this video, we're going to look at how to schedule a presentation when the software is set to scheduled playlist mode. To begin creating a playlist to get scheduled on your display, click on the Schedule tab on the top of the screen, click on Add, and then Playlist. This will bring up the playlist creation window. To add presentations to the list, click on the plus sign, and this brings up the navigation window and allows you to navigate the different presentations that you've created and saved. So say for example, I want to create a playlist with my January uh, specials. I'm going to go to my January specials folder. I'm going to click on one of the presentations. I'm going to hold down the control key and then that allows me to select the other presentation as well. This way I can import multiple presentations very easily. Once I have those selected, I'm going to click open. And you can see that now they show up in the list. I can also give this playlist a description. This way I can easily tell it apart from any other playlists I have scheduled on the display. Uh, in addition, I can give it a, a unique color. So again, this example is just for my January special, so I only want those to run through the end of January. So I'm going to set those to run uh, in, until midnight on January 31st, or until the end of the day. Now if I wanted to have a reoccurrence on these, I can click on the reoccurrence tab and you can see that I can reoccur either weekly, monthly, yearly, uh, it, all depending on your preference or, or what you want to do with those particular presentations. Uh, so I'm going to check weekly and say for example I only want these to run Monday through Friday. So what I would do is uncheck the box marked Sunday and Saturday. And then if I click OK, you can see they're not showing up quite yet in that view, but if I scroll down, they're only set to start at about 1.30 in the afternoon for all of them. And that's because I didn't set my start time appropriately. So to edit that, what I can do is simply double click on the presentation, and that brings that playlist creation box open again. I'll click on the date and time folder, and you can see that I need to adjust this to the beginning of the day. Now when I click OK, you'll see those show at the top of the screen indicating that they're an entire day. I can also change the view and say go to a month view. And now I can see the days that these messages or presentations will be playing on the display. Now I, ha I also want to add in a time and date presentation. So again, I'll go to Add and Playlist, click on the plus sign, click on Time and Date, and then Open. I'll give it a description. And you can assign it a color if you'd like. Now with the time and date, I usually prefer that to run uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So I'm just going to click on the Play Continuous box here and then click OK and you can see that it now fills in the time and date and that will run continuously on the display and I do that usually in case I forget to schedule something else the time and date will at least show on the display so that it's not blank. So to publish these to the display I simply just click the publish button. I can check the status by double clicking the status bar at the bottom and there it went very quickly, I already missed it. Close the progress window and if I go to the home tab I'll now see that all three presentations are currently running on my display um, and the, the two different playlists appear under the schedule. So again on January 31st uh, at, at midnight this January specials will automatically stop playing on the display and, uh, and come off of it and only the time and the date will be playing at that point in time.